Hey everyone, Scalesia here, and today I'll be showing you how you can achieve this special badge and theme card from the new map, Point Hope, which is right here. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the only two items you're going to really need is a flashlight, obviously because it's dark. Now the power box has to be on at all times for the lighthouse to be on, because the lighthouse has to be on at all times and it requires the power to be on for it to work. And then you need a black light. So these are the only two items you're really going to need. So let's go ahead and go. Now this only works on, as, as far as I know, professional and nightmare. I'm not sure if it works on amateur to get the badge. Um, you can try it. I'm not quite sure. But I do know for sure it is mostly required for professional and nightmare. Alright, here's the power box. I'm going to turn it on. And obviously I need to be in this room, so I'm going to turn this on for my sanity. Now this is the room you want to be in. So this pool table holds the combination for the first item you're going to require. In order to find out what the combination is, this is the clue right here. So green, blue, and orange, red. Now the green and blue are going to be white and blue and green. Oh, I think the ghost might be in the same room as me. And this is going to be a solid red orange. So the first combination is the green and white ball, then the blue and white ball, then the solid red and orange. So this is how you do it. So here's the green and white ball, this is stripe, and you drop it in this hole, this one. Okay, and then you're gonna take the blue and white ball and drop it in this hole. Not sure if really if the holes matter, but I just how I remember seeing it. And then here's the solid red and orange ball. And that's the sound you wanna hear is the, is the ping sound. So then you're gonna come over here into the hole and there's the key. I'm going to grab it, and we're going to go upstairs. Hopefully the power box stays on because we have to have it on. Alright, so this is the room we want to be in next with the key. As you can see, the light is on because electricity is on. As long as electricity is on, the gears are going to spin. So the key goes into here. I thought it was a hiding place, but it was totally wrong. Okay, you're going to open it, and as you can see, there is a cog or gear missing. So you have to find the exact gear of this shape. But it's, so it's a circle with, looks like it has teeth. So you're going around and look for a really big gear. I call them teeth. I don't know exactly the proper name for those things sticking out. And you can see there's tons of gear everywhere. So you're going to look for the one that you think would fit. So the correct gear is actually hidden right here. So right next to this shelf. So you want to grab that. Then go back upstairs. I'm gonna push F or whatever you're doing into there. And then that's it. Alright. Now you can hear a thumping sound of the light turning on and off. Now what you do is you listen, and as you can tell, it is flashing three times. So one, two, three. So you're gonna go back downstairs and go outside. Okay, now once you're outside, you're going to want to ring this bell the same amount of times you hear the light go on and off, which is, we counted three times. So, one, two, three. You, you will hear, oh, scary. you won't hear that, <laughs> the thunder. You'll hear a little swoosh sound to know that you actually got it. So if you don't hear the swoosh, something didn't go right. So when we hear the swoosh, you can go back upstairs. Okay, so we are at the light itself. Notice that the blinking has stopped. Now the next thing you want to do is take your UV and point it at the front, like just like that, and let it let it sit. And there you go. The light has turned to UV, and now look outside. I think these are, are supposed to be drowned victims, as you can hear the like bubbles of water. This will get you the badge, and that's practically it. It even says right there UV, so when you come up, that's the clue for UV to use the UV light on the lighthouse. And when the power goes out or whatever, you can still see the spirits with your UV flashlight. It's really eerie, isn't it? But, yeah. 
So that's how you get the badge. So you'll get the special badge and the card theme once you're back in the room. Now I don't know if you have to complete the hunt in order to get them, but I did. I completed the hunt anyway, so. But yeah, anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, like and subscribe and watch more videos if you'd like, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.